Hello friends, welcome to Priya Ichu Plus. This video is about introduction to parasitology. I have planned to give a glance in parasitology friends in MCQ point of view. Once I complete it, I will be discussing about each parasite in detail. In this video, I have discussed about the basic of parasitology with some example. The examples are very important in MCQ and Viva point of view, friends. Okay, let's move into the topic. Let me begin this section with the definition of parasites. Okay. What is called parasite, friends? Parasites are living organism which depend on other living organism for their nourishment and survival okay parasite itself is a living organism which will be depending upon other living organism for their nourishment and, and survival okay parasites are classified as ectoparasites endoparasites and free living parasites okay what are ectoparasites ectoparasites or parasite that inhabit only the body surface of the host okay they won't penetrate into the tissues so they will be residing only on the surface of the body okay examples of lice tick mites okay next is endoparasites endoparasites are parasites that will penetrate the body of the host okay they will be living inside the body of the host Okay, more examples are most of the protozoan and helminthic parasites causing human diseases. Most of the protozoan and helminths causing human infections. Third one is free living parasites. Free living parasites are parasites that are non parasitic stages of active existence which live independent of the host. Okay, examples are cystic stage of Nigleria fowleri okay pre-living parasite they refer to non-parasitic stage of active existence okay they won't they won't be depending upon the host for their survival example is cystic stage of Nigleria fowleri okay then endoparasite is further classified as obligate parasite facultative parasite accidental parasite and hammeran parasite okay what are obligate parasites obligate parasites are parasites which cannot exist without a host okay and they can live only in presence of host okay when they come out of host they will be dead example is toxoplasma gondii and plasmodium okay next is facultative parasite facultative parasites are parasites they can live either in as parasitic form or as free living form okay example is negleria fowleri okay? next one is accidental parasites accidental parasites are parasites which infect an unusual host okay usually they won't be the host but accidentally they infect that particular animal okay example echinococcus granulosus which infect man accidentally giving rise to hydatic cyst next is aberrant parasites aberrant parasites are parasites which infect a host where they cannot further develop okay example is a toxocaracanis that is It's a dog roundworm infecting humans. Okay, Toxocaracanis is a dog roundworm infecting humans. Apparent parasites are also called as wandering parasites. Okay. Next, we can move into host. What is host, friends? Host is also a living organism which harbor the parasites and provide nourishment to the you know, nourishment and shelter to the parasites okay. host is also a living organisms which harbor the parasites and provides nourishments and shelter to the parasites okay. 
can see about the types of host host is of four types they are definitive host intermediate host parentic host and reservoir host and also accidental host okay it's a five types first is definitive host definitive host is the host in which adult parasite lives okay definitive host is the host where adult parasites lives and also undergo sexual reproduction so example is mosquito acts as a definitive host in malaria in most of the cases man is the definitive host okay next is intermediate host intermediate host is the host in which larval stage of the parasite lives okay and asexual multiplications of the of the parasite take place okay next is pa parentenic host that is a host in which larval stage of the parasite remains and remains viable without further developments okay larval stage of the parasites will be viable but they won't develop but in case of intermediate parasites they can develop okay example is a fish for pleuroceroid larva of diphyllotum latum fish for pleuroceroid larva for diphyllotum latum next is reservoir host okay what is reservoir host friends in an endemic area a parasitic infection is continuously kept up by the presence of a host okay which harbor the parasites and act as an important source of inf infection to the susceptible host okay example is dog is the reservoir of hydatic disease dog is the reservoir the example is very important friends a dog is the reservoir or reservoir host of hydatic disease okay next is accidental host okay? the host in which parasite is not usually found okay? example is man is an occidental host for cystic echinococcus accidental host is the host in which a parasite is not usually found example is man is an accidental host for cystic echinococcus okay next is that you can see about the types of parasites parasites are broadly classified as okay, the protozoans and helminths protozoans belong to protozoans are unicellular virus helminths are multicellular protozoans are placed under the kingdom protista whereas helminths are placed under the kingdom animalia okay moving into the protozoans protozoans are further divided into amoebae flagellates sporozoa and ciliates under amoebae we have entamoeba and neglaria okay these are a few examples uh, under that so much parasites are present okay under flagellates here we have given it's given as giardia and trichomonas under sporozoa we have a plasmodium bebesia and toxoplasma under ciliates we have balanthidium okay and then helminths helminths are further classified as nematode cystodes and trematodes under nematodes we have ascaris ankylostoma duodenales okay. under cystodes we have tenia and echinococcus under trematodes we have fasciola and cystosoma okay just to have an idea over this type over the type of parasites in future lecture i will be discussing in future lecture i will be discussing about each parasites in detail okay then next is i have told friends in most of the uh, cases uh, as man is a, a definitive host but in some cases man acts as a intermediate or secondary host we can see that exceptions okay in case of plasmodium in plasmodium infections then babesia infections and toxoplasma gondii echinococcus granulosus echinococcus multilocularis tenia solium and spirometra species so these are the 
a few important parasites where a few important cases where man acts as an intermediate host okay how will you remember this friends plasmodium babesia species and toxoplasma uh, these are placed under sporozoa okay so sporozoa in sporozoa i have already told about the types of parasites in the classifications these three um, spe and these three organisms are coming under sporozoa so you can remember at uh, the three sporozoans next are echinococcus granulosus echinococcus multilocularis and then tinea are uh, this these three are coming under cystodes okay next spiromedra species you can remember that sporozoa and cystode and spiromedra species like that you can remember this okay next is life cycle of parasites uh, in life cycles we have two type of life cycles uh, one is uh, direct life cycles another one is uh, so indirect life cycles uh, under direct life cycles uh, when a par parasite requires only single host to complete its development it is called direct life cycle okay when a parasite is requiring only one single host to complete its entire life cycles entire development is called as a so complete life cycles it's called as direct life cycles okay example is intermeba histolica requires only a human host to complete its life cycles okay. next is indirect life cycles when a parasite requires two or more species of host to complete its development that life cycle is called as indirect life cycles Example is a malaria parasites requires both human host and mosquito host to complete its life cycle. Okay. Just remember the definitions alone. Okay. Know what is what. Okay. These these are the parasites having direct life cycles. They require no intermediate host. Okay. Example is a um. In um, protozoa, we have endamoeba, histolytica, giardia, lambda, trichomonas, vaginalis, balantidin coli, cryptosporidium, parvum, cyclospora, catenensis, isospora belli, microsporidia. So, among helminths, we have ascarias, lambricoids, enterobius, vermicularis, trichoris, trichora, ankylos, toma, diodinal, nicator, maricanus, hymenolepis, nana. Okay. These are the you know, some of the parasites having a direct life cycles. Okay, they require no intermediate host. Next, is, uh, some parasites need one definitive host and one intermediate host to complete its life cycles. Okay, those are the table is large. Okay, you can see it. Uh, parasites and among protozoans first is plasmodium species plasmodium requires female anaphylos mosquitoes as definitive host and man as an intermediate host next is babesia species requires a tick and intermediate host is man so, leishmania huh? definitive host is man and duck and the intermediate host is sandfly trypanosoma bruzi as a definitive host is man and intermediate host is testifly in trypanosoma cruri the definitive host is man and intermediate host is triatamine bug then toxoplasma gonte only the definitive host is cat and the intermediate host is man next is cystodes among cystodes tinea solium and tinea saginata requires man as definitive host whereas the intermediate host are pig and cattle in echinococcus granulosus dog is a definitive host and man and as acts as an intermediate host. This is very important. Okay. Next is so, um next they have given a photo trematodes and nematodes. So those are not much important. Okay. Next and next we can see about um, parasites requiring two intermediate hosts and one definitive host. Those are Faciola species requiring snail and plant as an intermediate host and man is a definitive host. And next is Chloranchis sinensis requires snail and fish as an intermediate host and man as a definitive host. Next is a Diphyllobotrium latums requires cyclops and fish as an intermediate host and definitive host is man. Next is a Paragonismus westermani requires 
snail and crustaceans as intermediate host and man as a definitive host okay thank you friends